Chapter 6 of Eastern Stories and Legends by Marie Louise Shedlock. This Levervox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Max Holloway. Chapter 6 The Man Who Worked to Give Alms. Once upon a time, the Buddha was born as a merchant named Vasaya, and being endowed with the five virtues, he was liberal and fond of almsgiving. He had alms halls built at all four city gates, in the heart of the city and at the door of his own house. At these points he set on foot almsgiving, and every day 600,000 men went forth to beg, and the food of the beggar and the merchant were exactly the same. And thus he stirred up the people of India by his gifts. Saka, the king of gods, grew suspicious and thought, this, Visaya gives alms by scattering his gifts everywhere, is stirring up all India. By means of his almsgiving, methinks he will dethrone me and himself become Saka. I will destroy his wealth and make him a poor man, and so bring it about that he shall no longer give alms. So Saka caused his oil, honey, molasses, and the like, and all his treasure of grain to disappear as well as his slaves and workpeople, those who were deprived of his gifts came and said, My lord, the alms hall has disappeared. We do not find anything in the various places set up by you. Take money hence, he said. Do not cut off giving of alms. And calling his wife, he bade her to keep up her charity. She searched the whole house, and not finding a single bit of money, she said, My lord, except for the clothes we wear, I see nothing. The whole house is empty. Opening the seven jewel treasuries, they found nothing. And save the merchant and his wife, no one else was seen, neither slaves nor hirelings. The merchant again addressing his wife said, My dear, we cannot possibly cut off our charities. Search the whole house till you find something. At that moment, a certain grass mower threw down his sickle and pole and the rope for binding the grass in the doorway, and ran away. The merchant's wife found them and said, My lord, this is all I see, and brought and gave them to him. Said he, All these years I have never mown grass before, but today I will mow grass, and take it and sell it, and by this means disperse the fitting alms. So, through fear of having to cut off his charities, he took the sickle, and the pole, and the rope, and going forth from the city, came to a place of much grass, and mowed it, tied it up into bundles, saying, One shall belong to us, and with the other I will give alms. This he did for six days, and because there was not enough to feed all who came for alms, on the seventh day he and his wife went fasting. Then his strength gave out. No sooner did the heat of the sun strike upon his head than his eyes began to swim in his head, and he became unconscious. And falling down, he scattered the grass. Saka was moving about, observing what the merchant did, and that god, standing in midair, cried, Refrain from giving, and thou shalt have joy forever. Who art thou? called the merchant. I am Saka. And the merchant said, Saka reached his high office by taking upon himself moral duties and giving alms. Why doest thou give alms? asked Saka, still wishing to test him. It's not because I desire Sakahood or Brahmanship, but through giving there cometh knowledge of all things. Great merchant, cried Saka, henceforth do thou every day give alms and his wealth was restored to him. End of chapter 6, recording by Max Holloway.